Previously on The Walking Dead. What if my parents come home and I'm not there? I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Hey, there were some batteries in one of those boxes. Here, you can have some too. I think we should look for your parents. They always stay in the same place when they go there. The Marsh House? Yes, that's it! You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? We gotta go! <laughs> yeah, why? Clementine? Clementine! chance of finding her if we all go together. Who's with me? We'll look for Clementine together. Hell yeah. She's my family now. She's all I got. Hell. In the end, family's all that matters. Maybe you should stay with the boat. Okay. Sure. Clementine! Doesn't have to be any trouble here. All I want is the girl. Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt. Clementine, are, are you all right? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch. Cody. Who is this? It's not Vernon, if that's what you're thinking. And you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine. But if I were you, I'd choose my next word very carefully. What do you want from me? Whatever it is, I'll do it. You can let her go. I want you to never hurt anybody again. This isn't a kidnapping, Lee. Then what is it? Don't worry, pal. We'll get her back. How's that feeling? It doesn't matter. It is what it is. We don't have much time. We're about to have a lot less. We'll all make sure nothing gets in. You're still the smartest fucker out of all of us. Try to find another way out of here. Hey. We'll have time to chit chat later. Nothing through here. Damn. I was kind of hoping they dug some secret tunnels or something. I think I found a way out.
these doors open in two seconds. trying to save him. At the very least, buy him some time. Chopping his arm off. Do we know it works? We don't know anything. We know there's gonna be a lot of blood. There's gonna be a shitload of blood. What if he dies? Then the rest of us go after Clementine and get the hell out of Savannah. Jesus. What are you guys talking about? We thought if we took off the bitten arm... You'd have a shot. I know it's drastic. You think? But what if it works? It might be the only way. What do you think? No. We leave it. Are you sure? Yeah, I feel like I got time. Just keep an eye on me. I get my hands on the bastard who's got Clem. Be happy to have them both. But you're gonna die. Yeah, but not in here. You guys keep an eye on that door. I'll work on getting us out of here. We? No. This is what we're doing, and I don't want to hear anything else, okay? Sounds good. Nice and quiet, everybody. There's some light up there. Good. Gotta get my ass off this ladder. Just fucking peachy. Lee! Lee! Oh god! Are you alive? Get up!
Remember when Savannah was empty? Those Crawford bastards did one thing right, I guess. There must be thousands of them. They didn't follow us here, did they? It sure seems like it. That's crazy. They can't track. They just roam. Is it? That fucking train wasn't exactly discreet. Well, what do we do now? Clementine's out there somewhere. Gobbled up in all of that. We'll get to her, Lee. We'll do whatever we have to. Look, let's get our bearings and see if we can figure out a way to make it across town. Good? Good. I... Uh, don't think we can ignore what just happened to Lee. It's the bite. Just have to deal with it. You gotta let us know if you start feeling funny, you know? I know. It's just dizziness, that's all. I'm all good. As good as you can be. Yeah. Good as I can be. Now what? We get down and we find a little girl out there. Right, pal? Now, let's get our bearings. Hospital must have run out of doctors. Not going back in there. Some poor bastard took a spill. Yeah, looks like whoever was up here painting that sign went ass over tea kettle. He or she walked away from whatever accident happened. Well, that doesn't really mean much. Looks like Crawford Square over there. Fuck that place. Did fix up our boat, though. We get Clementine and get right back. Make sure she wears her life jacket, okay? Something tells me she's not gonna want to. What's up over here? Bell Tower. That's what's up. Huh, yeah. That could help. It's a bell tower. Like the ones Molly used to draw the walkers around the city. That's the church across the street from the mansion. River Street should be just beyond that. We need to head back that way. We'll stop off at the mansion, like you said, and make sure we didn't overlook anything. Yeah. I might have a way to clear us a path. I can make it to that bell tower. I can draw the walkers down to that side of the hospital. There'll be thousands of them. That'll thin out the streets between here, the mansion, and River Street. Even if it's just for a few minutes. That's the church across the street from the mansion. River Street should be just beyond that. Here's a way down. Yeah, if half the dead population of Georgia wouldn't wander in the streets down there. some time. Draw as many as we can this way. Get down off the roof on the opposite side and bust our asses getting back to the mansion. You think you should be the one to go? My leg's feeling better. Let me do it. If we have to decide who takes a risk like this, it should be the guy who's got the least to lose. What's the worst that could happen? I get bitten again? 
So we're agreed then. It should be able to get me across the gap. I don't like anything about this. It'll take two seconds. We'll keep it secure on our end. Hurry. Yeah, what she said. Try to find another way out of there? A few solid rings of this and there'll be thousands down below. Way. Tons of them! Jesus! Now get back here! I think I have to jump! There's no way back! You can make it! It ain't that far! I'm so fucked. Damn leap, pal. Let's get the hell off this roof. Do it! Don't get mad. The boat's gone. No shit, it's gone! Relax. Ben, what happened? They were waiting for me in here. Who? Vernon, his whole crew! Was Clementine with them? No. He, he seemed pissed you guys lost her, and, well, they took it. They're gone. Ben, you are worthless! How's Lee feeling? Don't change the subject. I can't believe you didn't even put up a fight! Omid, can you go over the fence and let us into the backyard? We shouldn't be out in the open. Yeah. This is not happening. Everything is so fucked. Clementine is still out there. So we get Clementine, and then what? We get the fuck out of cities. I'm done with cities. We go into the countryside and make a go of it. Yeah, that seems like a good idea to me. Nobody asked you. You just did. Don't get fucking smart with me, Ben. Chill. Do you remember we had a boat? A boat! Get over it! Everyone keep it together. Nothing has changed, has it? Nothing has changed? I mean immediately. We stay the course. Don't turn on each other. Yeah, chill out, Kenny. We can do this in the yard. Ben, I swear to God. What do we do without a boat? That wasn't the last boat in America. 
The idea was sound before, and it's sound now. The mainland is done, and we have no idea what else is out there. Boats, towns, hopes. Lee, people end up dead chasing impossible things. It'll be better than getting eaten alone. Out there. Where the hell do you get off? I'm just saying we should all chill. Not just you. Chill? Bandits? Hey, chill. Here's some pills. Vernon, chill. Here's our fucking boat. This isn't my fault. I can't point to one thing that's happened that isn't somehow your fault. Lee should have left you in Crawford. Fuck you, Kenny! Whoa, Ben! No, let him. I am so, so, so sorry about Katja and Duck. I am! And I know I fucked up. But stop pushing me around and stop wishing I was dead! No! You know how they died. You've said goodbye. I never got to see my family, my parents, my little sister. Do you get that? Your family is gone, but at least you had them to lose. I never made it home. They could be alive or dead or walkers or worse, and I don't know. So give me a fucking break. Oh, Ben. I'm... Oh, shit. Here they come. In the house. They shouldn't be able to get into the backyard, right? Maybe not. We can secure this place. Krista. Get on the windows in the front room. Check the boards. Got it. Kenny. Move anything you can up against the doors and windows. That's what I was thinking. Ben. Help Krista. Got it. Omid. What is it? Front doors! Lee! Help! Cut their fucking arms off! There's gotta be a knife or something in there! Hurry! Take their goddamn arms off! Now what? Get ready to fight. This place seems dirty to me. I think we're fine. <laughs> Sturdy my ass! Get upstairs! Go! Guys, help me with this! Get to the end of the hallway. What do we do now? This will slow him down. Get to the end of the hallway and take a fucking stand. We can't let ourselves get trapped. Let's get as many as we can. When we see an opening, we go for it. How many bullets y'all have? Three. Five. Four. Two. Y'all know where to aim. Get ready.
I'm not good with these. You dropped it down there. That could have gone better. Everyone okay? Lee's still bitten. Shut up. Okay. Let's get out of here and keep moving. Kid's right. We gotta keep moving. Think there's any chance we get Clem and catch up to those goddamn thieves? I don't know. Maybe. Well, we're not going out through this window. No latches, no roof access, and 30 feet straight down. Anyone have any ideas? I bet this guy would. He's got a resourceful air about him. Knock it off. Dixon Kent III. Industrial... Mead? Krista. Just trying to lighten the fucking tone. We need solutions, not stupid jokes. I'm sorry. So, no ideas then. There's gotta be another way. Check the floor for any other access, a vent, anything. Or we wait for the house to clear out and stick to the high ground. Whoa, Lee, you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to just... more than just Clementine when it comes to our urgency. What do you mean? How do we get out of here? That's the whole point. We don't know. Okay, now your life depends on it. How do you get out of here? I don't know. I don't get it. I do. Like I said, everyone needs to keep looking for a way out, damn it. We're trapped in here. How long you think we have? What? I don't know. We should have cut it off. At least then there would have been a chance. Well, you didn't. And it's too late now. I think we need to have an adult conversation about what happens if Lee takes another spill. Hey, look. We could be looking at a Larry situation here. Who's Larry? It don't matter. He looks fine to me. Okay, what do you want to do? Just talk about it. Does that conversation end with me getting something dropped on my head? Now, hey! Guys, I don't know what happened before Omid and I showed up, but we can cross this bridge when we get to it. Lee, I'm not advocating anything here, but how is this not a thing? We're all so worked up about Clementine that we're forgetting what the fuck happened to you! Oh, I'm really glad I got you looking out for me. For Clem. This is just fucking great. Relax, Lee. This is getting out of hand. You're gonna listen to me! We will get Clementine back, with or without you. Because I haven't given up everything to die because we were stupid. I'm sorry, okay? Fuck, we can't do this! We're gonna have to! Ah! You ruined that dude's face. Shut up, sweetie. Look! It's corroded to hell. What's on the other side of this wall? A 30-foot drop? No. This mansion butts up against the one next door. I'll be damned. We're not lifers on... This wall ain't shit. Is this really possible? Yeah, we can do this. Okay. We'll work in shifts. Omid, Krista, and I. Lee, you rest. We have to work fast. I wasn't gonna hurt you. Sure, pal. I know. you told us when you got bitten. It would have been easy not to. Yeah. Well. You 
probably would have let you go alone if you hadn't told us. Which would have been a mistake. If I were you, I would have been scared shitless. I, uh, and when it happened, I panicked. But now I feel it inside me, like the day before you get the flu. It's horrible. Wish you would have taken it off. Don't think it matters much now. I'm losing a lot of feeling in it. Really? Yeah, it's hot, like when you break a bone. But tingly, like it's asleep. So when we get this guy, what do you think? We figure out who he is, why he's doing this. We can rescue Clem, but she won't be safe if this guy's not gonna stop. So, did your crew get into any shit before you met up with us? Is it possible to have survived and not gotten into some shit? And, you know, whatever happens to you... Uh... Seriously, can we not talk like that? The entire time we were at the hospital, I could sense you think you're as good as dead. I'm bitten, Krista. We all know that's a wrap. There's gotta be something. I want you guys to take her. Stop it. I'm serious. To be safe and relatively happy with you two. We're not doing this right now. Krista, listen to him. It's what I want, okay? What about him? We, uh, gotta support him. He's only a kid still. It's easy to forget that. He loses shit like that often? No. That was a first. It's good that he did. Kenny couldn't pull that shit on me. The kid killed his family, so there's been some tension there. Really? What happened? Kenny's son got bitten during a raid by some gang that Ben was secretly helping. They used him. Kenny's wife died because of their son. Jesus. Well, seems like it got through to Kenny. Whatever that's good for. All right. I'm out of gas. You look good and rested. Sure. If you don't count an infected leg. You want me to do it? Nah, and you can hop in after me. Shouldn't be long now. It's good we're forced to take a breath. I still can't believe you went and got chomped. Just fucking hell. At least he told us. Took some brass. I don't think I would've. How are you? I'm... Uh, I don't know how to answer that. I'm sorry. You've lost more than anyone. Well, as much as anyone. Lee's family's gone too. It'll be alright, kid. Why are you acting like what's happened ain't happened? Anyway, I appreciate it from both of you. A lot of us have lost families. Maybe take it easy on him from here on out. I'm angry as hell. Not at him. Maybe. Maybe not. You heard him outside. I did. I never really thought about it that way. This guy tell you much about what we've been through? Bits and pieces. Before y'all, we had this woman, Lily, with us. Lord knows where she is now. Anyway, we had to make some tough calls with her dad. She came between Lee and I pretty good. And I spent a lot of nights hating this guy's guts. It's all water under the bridge. All we can do is move forward. Well, cheers.
I'm through. No walkers. Things are looking up. Everyone keep a goddamn eye out. This place seems pretty sealed off. Well... say that you stick it out as long as you can you do whatever you have to I could have done more you did everything you could no Lee I could have been a better husband better father could have been a better friend so let's figure out a way out of here get that little girl we should move. Yeah. Got at least one shot left. Let's clear the room before we move on. Lee, figure out where we're headed. Lee, you okay? Yeah. Let's keep at it. Judging by the decor of this room, I guess they were PBS watchers. Hey, my parents' house looked a lot like this. And they watch kung fu movies. Just saying. I guess Crawford would have gotten them anyway. You still with us, bit? Yeah, Lee. I just want to help. Might be the way out. It's sick, but think of all the pain they avoided. What do you call this thing? Art? Nothing other than personal items in here. Looks like we can stay off the streets all the way to River Street if we're careful. Let's go. Go ahead. fucking mouth. Holy fuck! What are we gonna do? Kenny and I can handle this. Dude, let me help you. You're already hurt. Even more reason we all don't need to risk it. You worry about her. And if all this goes bad, you might be Clementine's last hope. Will... Keep an eye out. Ow! Um, I'm 
okay? I'm okay. Just get me out of here. God damn it, Ben. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. No, no, just don't panic. We're gonna get your ass up. Really? I thought you... Fucking hell. What is it? I'm okay. I'm okay. We can get you up. We can, uh... Ow! Oh. If he'd be quiet, then maybe. But Kenny, this is fucking serious. He could die just by moving him wrong. I won't move! Ben! Fuck! Fuck! Oh god, don't let them get to me! Do you have any bullets left? This has only got one left in it. Just one. Fuck, that's not enough. Give it to me. What? We gotta do something. You're not doing shit. You are going after Clem. Kenny! This is not a discussion! Hell no, man! I'm not leaving! What did I just say? Let's get Ben and get out of here! What the fuck, Kenny? Lee, Lee is okay. No, kid. No, it's not! It's just something I gotta do. You know that. Go get that girl. Back, you sons of bitches! Damn it, Kenny! God damn it! What happened? I heard a shot. We needed more bullets. You needed a miracle. It's not your fault, Lee. I can't believe them. You saw them die? Nobody was getting out of there. I'm sorry, Lee. Well, maybe he did get away. I don't know. We should go. Right behind you. Do you want to talk? Kenny was my friend. He could be 
tough to like, but I agreed with it most of the time. So, we were assholes together, I guess. Look, Lee, this is a shitty time, but I want to clear something up. What is it? Now with Kenny gone, means Omid and I have to stay safe. For her. You guys would be great for her. Keep her safe. We do our best. You know that. Good. Thanks. Whatever your best is, I'll trust it. That's all you can do. Fuck. Be careful across here. River Street's just up ahead. Whoa, careful. Even the buildings are full. I don't know where the next meal is. Be careful through here. Yeah, we don't need any more accidents. I'm sorry. It's okay. Marshall's Hotel is around the corner of the block. We have to cross here. Well, at least it doesn't look like a death trap. Who's going first? You're the lightest. He's got a busted leg. You're walking for two. I'm obviously not doing so hard. Decision doesn't make itself. I'll go first, in case anything happens out there. You sure? Yeah. Just go nice and slow. Almost there. It's an easy crossing. Good. Figure something out. There's not a ton of options. Fuck it. I'm going for it. Going for it? What does that mean? It means I'm already bitten. I just have to push my way through. What the fuck? Let's meet outside of town. By the train. Are you nuts? It's the only way. Do you hear me? Yeah, by the train! Jesus! We'll be there!
I got us adjoining rooms. Hello. Okay. This is civil. You look horrible. Go over there. Put your things down. Let me out! Who's out there? Quiet, please, sweetie. Your things. There. Just be cool. Do I not seem cool? Good. Go sit down. Do you know who I am? No. I don't know anything about you. You wouldn't. People like you don't. Now you're thinking, who would have it out for me, huh? A few weeks back, there might have been a station wagon in the forest, full of all sorts of food, water, things you need to survive. Yeah, I'm not some cannibal, Lee. Some killer out in the woods. Some villain. I'm just a dad. I coach Little League. Everything was just out there for the taking. We were starving. Do for you the taking? Do you know what you took from me? I'm sorry. Whatever it is, whatever happened, you have to hear that I'm sorry. That doesn't mean anything to me. I wish it did. I'm not a bad man. I don't believe in vengeance. But I've got nothing left. <sighs> Have you ever... hurt somebody... you care about? Yes, of course. Who? My wife. Clementine said she wasn't with you. I heard her a long time ago. How? In a lot of ways. She traveled for work. I didn't like that. I wanted a family. A reasonable thing to want. So we fought. And it made my biggest fear come true. Got sick one day on my way to class. Canceled it and went home. Found her there with someone else. Killed him. I was mad at her for so long, and I can't imagine how much pain she felt. How about you? I hurt her. So bad. My son Adam went missing. I took him out hunting even though my wife said he was too young. I figured he had to learn. I came back without him and the look on her face said, You are a monster. We all went out looking for him. We never found him. I hurt her so bad. Then you took all of our things. You robbed us. I could have earned her trust back, Lee, but not after that. I'm sorry. The hungrier we got, the more she blamed me. Until she finally took our daughter Elizabeth and left. They didn't get far. I found them a day later. 
in the road. Do I look like a monster to you? No. I'm not like you. You killed a man with a pitchfork right in front of a little girl. I did what I had to. You lied to her about who you really are. It wasn't the right time to tell her. The sweatshirt she's wearing was my boy's. You stole that from us! We were starving. It was cold. So my family starved in the cold! How could you know all this? You're a monster. You're a murderer and a thief. And I'm gonna hurt you so bad. Just give me Clementine back. I'd rather kill her myself. Because that's what will happen if she goes with you. After I heard Clementine on the radio and realized who you folks were, I came after you purely for revenge. But the more I heard about the things you did, and the danger she was in, our plan changed. Lee, listen to me. I need you to hear this before what happens next. I can take care of her. We can have a family. I bet you don't even know how old she is. She's eight. Wrong. She's nine. But... Her birthday was six days ago. I know how to be a dad, you know. She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been with you. That's not happening. You're crazy. Keeping her with you is crazy. I'm bitten. What? I got bit, and I'm gonna make sure you end up the same way as me. I, uh... Make sure you shoot me in the head. No. I'll be with her, and you'll be rotting in the streets. Hey, honey. I think this is all gonna work out. What are you... I'm glad, too. I wish it wouldn't have had to get this bad, but it's all over, hon. Isn't it? Just about. I hate seeing you like this. I just miss your smile, honey. I miss you so much, Tess. You're gonna like Clementine a lot, though. She's not Lizzie, but she's sweet. She wouldn't hurt a fly. <laughs> Sorry. 
I'm sorry. Shh. It's okay. It's okay. You look horrible. That's what he said. Let's just get somewhere safe. You don't smell good. Yeah, I know. Did he hurt you? No. Not really. I'm sorry, Lee. Clem, it's okay. We need to get you somewhere safe. And then we have to talk, okay? Yeah. Everything's okay now. We need to figure out how to get out of Savannah as fast as we can. I'm sorry you had to see that. He was going to kill you. And take you. Yeah. way out. Through there. Leads to the other room. There's nothing in there. Can we go? Yeah, of course. smell horrible, which means you have to, too. Yuck. Okay. Oh, no. So? And you're missing something. I thought it was gone. I thought you were gone. Thank you. 
stay right next to me. Walk very slowly. Don't look around. And don't panic. Mm -hmm. I'll keep you safe. Get 
up, Lee? The door is right here. <sighs> I can't. You have to. Liam, I can't move. This is it for me here. Please, please, try to get up. There's a baseball bat under the counter, Clem. You can use that. The way out's through there, Clem. I know. Use the bat to shatter that window so you can reach in, okay? Okay. Watch out for broken glass. Good job. Don't be afraid of him, honey. You're smart. He isn't. You're smarter than all of them. We'll get you in there. Don't worry. I'm doing good. Through there, Clem. I know. Grab the chair, Clem. Use it to reach in to the lock.
Yeah, but you did this. Smart.
crags and cliffs, the air is thin. So we'll find a mountain path on down the hill. Meet me where the snow melt flows. It is there, my dear, where we'll begin again. Skip and stone. Last year's antlers mark the trail. Take us back, oh, take us back, oh, take us, take us back. Take us back, oh, take us back, oh, take us. Silent surface. 